On this video, I'm gonna give a better look at a few puzzles made by NK Cubed. First up, we have the mirrored square one. This puzzle feels like a legit square one. With that said, it is still a 3D printed puzzle and it naturally has some lag. You can see all the 3D printed marks on the pieces and I'm not sure if it's easy to sand down or make smoother. I really do love bump puzzles because of how they shape shift and this puzzle starts to get crazy after just a few turns. I'm not a square one pro, but I can solve it, but I don't really want to attempt this solve on camera because I'll probably be filming for a while. I really just wanted a chance to show you this puzzle and what NK Cube made. Up next, we have the sliding one by two by three. This is another 3D printed puzzle that is actually pretty cool. I will make note, it's very hard to rotate the pieces and that's to be expected. The sliding mechanism, however, is very smooth. I'd be really curious to see this puzzle on a mass produced scale, just to see what it would be like with smoother and better mechanisms. For now, this is what we have and it's still pretty rad. Lastly, I have the Gyro Bifastigum. I'm pretty sure I butchered that name. It was originally concepted by the channel Quirky Cubes, at least according to NK Cubed. Between the two of them, this puzzle is now in physical form. It's not a very difficult puzzle to solve, and it's basically just an intuitive solve, kind of like the sliding 1x2x3. Like the sliding 1x2x3, it's fairly hard to turn because of all the moving parts. You have to make sure it's all lined up before you do anything else. So absolutely no corner cutting. So in closing, if you're interested to see more of NK Cube's creations, check out the link in the description and give them a watch. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell to be notified for upcoming videos. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and don't hesitate to comment any thoughts below. And until next time, happy cubing.